Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So I'm in the middle of doing some water changes. This is one of my 10 gallon aquariums. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna move some fish to another tank. So this is this 10 gallon, this was my mutt guppy tank. And then I started stocking it again with the intentions of it being a mutt guppy tank again. But when I started stocking it, that was before I knew I was for sure that I was gonna be moving. And then after I moved, I was able to set up some new aquariums, including a couple 40 gallons. And I'll show you that. So this is one of the 40 gallons, a 40, 40 gallon breeder. And right now it just has three black neon tetras. And there is one guppy in here. The guppy I hadn't, when I put it in here, I didn't see it for weeks, and then just the last couple days I saw it and now I don't see it again. But I now I think it's time that to put some more fish in it, so I'm going to move over some guppies and see if they can have babies in here and gradually move more fish. There's also shrimp in here. You can see a red cherry shrimp back there. And there's snails. And yeah. So the plan is to bring over some female guppies. So I'm thinking this one right here, a little bit of blue, and then maybe. One of the blonde yellow females and a blonde reddish female. And some males. Maybe I was thinking the um where is it? Well, I'll show you when I bag them up. I'm gonna at least three of those females and a couple males. And also, as I was doing water change, I noticed a, a fry, it's in this bag here. So, I snatched it, yeah, there it is. No, that's a different fish in the background, where is it? There is a fry in here. And that's going to, I'm going to bring that over too. Just figure it may have a better chance of surviving in a 40 gallon less populated tank than it will in here. Very few fry born in here have grown big enough to not be eaten. Oh. That's one of the males I had in mind. Or we call it like a tricolor tuxedo. And maybe this or this. Yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna bring this um, jungle bell piece right here. Never really intended to keep it in this tank, but at the time when I got it, I just put it in here. I mean, that was before I had those 40 gallons. But here in the back, that's some jungle bow, so I'll just put it next to that and just compare. This is one that I got from Aquarium Co-op, and that one in the 10 gallon that I'm gonna move over is from a random seller on eBay that I got several plants from at the time. So we'll compare how one does to the other. And then while I'm in here, I'm gonna try to fix some plants. This driftwood right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even leave it in here or put that in my 84 gallon when I set that up. Um, but I'm also going to put some some rocks in here. I didn't have the rocks. I, mean, I set this tank up before I got the rocks and let's check those out. 
So here outside I have all the rocks that I unboxed um, recently. I ordered, got a good deal on these from Lowe's. 44 pounds each of Dragonstone and Soraya Stone, Siru Stone. This is what I'm putting in the 40 gallon, and this will go in the 84 gallon when I set that up, which is going to be awesome when that happens. But yeah, so I'm going to select some of these rocks and rinse them off and add it to that the 40 gallon now. I mean, it's probably not the best way to do it. It's probably better to set up the tank with the rocks in the hardscape and have the plants around that, but I'm kind of doing it backwards just because I, well, I didn't have the rocks at the time. But yeah. All right, so I'm gonna finish doing the water change and gather up the fish in that um, piece of jungle bell. And here's a look at the 40 gallon as it is right now. Then I will, once I do what I'm going to do and I get my hands in here and maybe move stuff around, readjust, add the fish, and then we'll take a look at it. So stand by. Alright, right there is a guppy. Alright. There. The guppy fry. Alright. So hardscape has been added, guppies have been added. So this phase of this 40 gallon breeder tank is complete. So all these, I ended up adding five pieces of Siru stone, Siru stone, Siru stone, uh, whatever it's called. And while I was at it, I added a couple sponge filters. I, the one that's running in back, but these two I just put in here because I will be setting up the 84 gallon tank soon and let those um, begin the cycling process to develop some beneficial bacteria and here's the guppies so they're all grouped together upon being released and ended up with all the guppies that I intended to get plus one more so when I took a bag and scooped in water this one decided to voluntarily come for the ride as a stowaway and these two males as planned a female with a bit of blue a female with yellow and a female with a little bit of red oh they're all up in the glare right under the light So yeah, that female, a little bit of red, yellow, that one is like a tuxedo blue, it wasn't planned, but this one has more blue in the tail. And yeah, so this does not have a lid. Before moving, all my aquariums had lids until I set up this 40 gallon next to it. This was the replacement for my 30 gallon, it didn't have a lid. And I've been able to get by with this. I mean, biggest concern is my cats, but they haven't come up here, so I think I'll be able to get by without lids. So I have noticed the they evaporate more without holding a lid, keeping the humidity in, and I haven't noticed any of these fish jumping out. I know some other fish that I have might, but but that is a risk there. Yeah, so let's look through the tank. The little guppy fry let it out in here, so I mean, it's possible I may never never see it again, but hopefully it'll pop in. And even then, 
when these female guppies have babies, I won't, may not know which is which. Let's see. The three black neon tetras that were in here. Unless they were right in front of me, I don't see them. They must be hiding. There's one right there. Or two of them. I would think the third one would be nearby. Yeah, so. I fixed these. This is Scarlet Temple Stem Plants. Those had, since I initially put them in here, like whatever the bottom of the stems broke off and they were just floated off and kind of cling to other stuff, but I brought them over here and whatever ends of them the roots were. And this all that's left of the Brazilian pennywort, that had come off and it was hanging onto the crinum over here, so with the, I tried to replant it with Root side down, even though these are now like upside down. But now, with the if it stays in place, it should straighten itself out and grow up towards the light. Just because it was kind of tang tangled in here and upside down. And I was this is the, the of the two crinum calamistrums that I have. This one is planted in here. These I just left them in the pots the Crinum Calamistratum and this Melon Sword because those are gonna just be moved to my 84 gallon and as I was you know putting the rocks in I tried to move this out and the roots grew down in so I'm just gonna kinda leave it there and just try to put the rocks around it and what else um, yeah so this is likely to go in the 84 gallon I set that up. This is a Anubius congensis. So it's got new growth here. Some of the other, one of the other leaves is gone. These, when I bought it, they were like half dried up and they, I got it from a, I think a PetSmart and, and they sold it half off. I, but really as long as the rhizome was okay, then I, I figured it would recover, and it is. Looking back here, the Amazon sword, so the... Receiving it with the uh, immersed growth, that is dying off, but then there's... Now that it's underwater here in my tank, there's submersed growth that is replacing it, and looking all right. And back there I added the... This is the jungle valve that I brought over from the 10 gallon, that's what I already had. So we'll see how those, how those might grow next to each other. And while I was in here, this little bit right here, that's growth from a water lily bulb. One of the ones that I received in a, a little assorted aquarium bulb packages from Petco or PetSmart. So at the bulb, it was growing kind of sideways. I tried to straighten it out. They, like it was as if it was turned over and growing up. Now I turn the bulb straight up and now the same, kind of the same effect with this. Once it's situated and stays still, it should grow upwards. And I, I figured now that straightened out, it should do that. And this is the first time having Dwarf hair grass, so so far it's looking okay. I mean, there's more. Some of it is browning, and like the little nubs were green, and now they're browning. But hopefully, it'll be enough to you know, just adjust this. Um, what is this? Um, dwarf chain sword, I think. So some of it is. Um, melting, but then there's this little, looks like a runner, so if it can make its way down to root itself, I guess that's what that is.
and the Pogostem and Stilatus Octopus here and here, those are doing well, as I figured they would. Yeah, so, there's the guppies. So that's the start, the first was the first fish in here with the black neon tetras, now these guppies. And I'll show you what else is gonna go in here. So here is a quarantine tank. These lamb chop rasbors are gonna go in that 40 gallon and the last green neon tetra. I had 12 of them, there's only one left unfortunately, but the plan was for all of those to go in, but now it's just gonna be the one. Mostly everything else in here is gonna be for the 84 gallon, the roseline sharks, scissor tail rasbors, um, the pearl garami, these other dwarf garamis, the male and female, those are going to go in my other 40 gallon, next to the one we've been focused on in this video here, and yeah. And let's end it on a look at the 84 gallon. So it's here. This is some of the Mopani wood I just kind of put in there to see how it would look or how it would fit. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the dragon stone is going to go in here. But I need to finish some things with my other aquariums before I can start setting this up. I don't want to get too overwhelmed with too much to do. My work is super busy and interferes a lot with my hobby but so may have to wait a little bit for this yeah all right last look at the 40 gallon looking good i think what do you think once the fish get added so it's going to be a a planted community tank more so with this one I'm going to focus more on guppies compared to this 40 gallon next to it I'm going to focus more on platies but for the most part they're both going to have be similar with community fish right now they're both lacking corridors but they will be getting some along the way all right, well that's it for now, and remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.